journey with me to Detroit City, the east side where it's gritty. <laughs> Come with me. Yes, my name is King Morton, and this is Van Dyke and Harper Music. <laughs> I hope y'all ready. I'm the king. Give me a beat when I spit it. I'ma rip it to pieces. I'm iller than Jesus would be if he was an MC. If it's beef, I jump out with two K's and shoot straight at you and your roommate for two days. Uh-uh. A phenomenal feature, popping your speakers might be rocking the theater or robbing your cleaners. I'm knocking the streets up, impregnating the block. I run out and re up, then I'm segregating my rocks for my heroin. My heroin is racist to my weed. Never keep them round each other unless you wanna be a fiend. See, I keep me a stack. Yours all in the bank. That you call it a trap. I call it a drink. I'm from Detroit City where the D boys are gritty. Gotta keep more than a twenty if you wanna see some titties. I pity any nigga who's not getting this money quickly. Went from white tees and tickets to nice rings and business. So uh, journey with me back to the late '90s before the horns was up and I was straight grimy. Before I was a rock star, I used to sell rocks hard. Eat Coney Islands every day. That's how I got large. Breaking in my boy's crib, stealing appliances. I'm running through. What's up? I'm Dave the Butcher. This is a special edition of The Butcher's Bullshit, Volume 5. It's been a while since I've done a video, and I'm going to try to keep them a little bit shorter. I'm kind of trying to work on a few new things, and uh, hopefully this works out good. We have a lot of stuff going on uh, coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, right now it's the, the 3rd of April. i got a big show coming up this weekend, April 7th at the Streeters. Ground Zero, Caged Aggression. Should always be a, it's always a great card up there, always a full house. I know J.J. Stevenson's got a title fight, fighting for my hometown. A lot of Benzie guys are going to be represented on that card. Anybody in the Traverse City area looking to go to a good show, come check it out. Chris Dos and Big John always do a good job, good safe show. Uh, coming up the weekend after that, I'm going to be announcing a show for a new fight league. I believe it's their second second show, but the promoter is not new to the game. Mr. Mike Balance and Fight for Freedom MMA at the Pirani Arena, April 14th. Now, I've fielded a lot of guff over this, and there's been a lot of talk and a lot of things. Uh, you know, I'm not going to throw anything out there again. It's all my, my feelings on what uh, happened in the past at the Pirani were very uh, publicly stated. And now I have a rare opportunity to return to the scene of this and try to restore some dignity and order to an arena and a venue that deserves good fights uh, safely run and well put on. So come check that out. Take, take Mike for his word. He's told me this is not a Greg Aaron show. This is Fight for Freedom MMA. This is run on the up and up. I'm going to take him at his word. I'm going to be there, and you can be for sure that I'm going to give you a fair, straight report back on that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to doing big things and good things down there and trying to help this game move along as best I can in the way that people want me to. And uh, in the weekend after that, April 21st, I'm going to be with the MXC. Now, I believe that show was in Hastings, uh, but make sure you check out Glenn Bailey or Shane Martin's Facebook page or the MXC, Michigan Extreme Combat, to check that out. It's going to be a big show. They pack the house every time. One of the best up-and-coming fight leagues in Michigan uh, and West Michigan as well, so I'm looking forward to that. And now for my big news, April 28th, I got my first out-of-state gig at Davenport, Iowa. Dan Severn's fighting in this event. Ken Shamrock's son, Ryan, is fighting in this event. So, I mean, two big legends are going to be in the building, and um, along with Monty Cox, I believe, is going to be there. Jens Pulver, a little evil. Um, it's just amazing for me for the opportunity. I want to thank Chris Maltzberger for that and Blue Blood MMA, and also the Quad Cities Fighting Championship. I'm looking big time forward to doing that. There will be a DVD available. I'm not sure about a live stream yet. Stay tuned to Facebook for details on that. Just check out my page and any posts that I do. I do notice. I really appreciate everybody that pays attention to what I do and allows me to operate with dignity and respect. I, I thank you very much for that. So that's the month of April for me. Um, also, something that I'm just starting out uh, doing, I did my first show last week with Chris Dantema, and that's called Blog Talk Radio. I think his show is called Pure Adrenaline MMA, and I'm going to be on that again tonight, and that is Wednesday. Wednesday nights at 11. I'm going to help out with that show, and uh, we're going to try to get We had over a 1,000 listeners already, and that's a big deal. I want to give a big shout-out to Chris Dantema. That's going to be tonight live at 11. You can also listen to it archive. It's Blog Talk Radio, Pure Adrenaline MMA, and the links will be uh, posted on Facebook and on my page and Chris Dantema. 
And now on to the meat. And you know, the butcher does bring the meat. Now, I did something yesterday that, uh, and yesterday being Tuesday, April 2nd. Um, I threw this uh, out there because I saw a beef forming and a long time thing that's gone on between Great Lakes MMA and New World Karate and Combat, also known as NWK. I've worked for both uh, promotions as because both of them not only have schools, but promotional uh, shows that showcase their fighters and uh, have usually pretty competitive events. Uh, both both the events that I've worked for NWK were safely run. I have no complaints. I like Larry and Zach. I got along with them great. Every time I've worked for Christos, everything's been on the up and up. Everything's been safe. Big John's a partner with that now, as he was with NWK until this morning, being Wednesday. Um, what I did yesterday uh, was, was make a suggestion and throw it out there and see what people thought. I did not expect people to escalate it too far, but basically the bottom line was what I thought and what I still think is a neutral party, being Big John, hiring a neutral staff, neutral judges, and finding some kind of neutral territory could hold a match, could hold a night of fights between the two gyms. You can match up all the way from the Greenhorns on up to title versus title if you want, just depending on who's available and depending on how this game works like we all know. I thought it was a good idea. I thought it could be done properly. Christos said he was down for whatever, wherever, whenever, and then the NWK declined. And I'm not going to come out and call anyone who does things that I don't do, which means fight in the cage, train strength and conditioning, and train several dis different disciplines of martial arts on either side. If somebody wants to take the high road and say, you know what, we're done, we're not going to take any part of this, and then delete everybody off their friends list and escalate it into a weird zone where it could have been something nice for all of us. And by all of us, I mean all the fans and all, all of the people that support these fighters and support each gym, regardless of what side you're on and what you think of anyone. It, it's something that could have been cool. It's something that it doesn't take a lot. I mean, think about it. If you're Christos or if you're uh, Larry and Zach, think about how nice it'd be to be fighting at a show where each and every fight has one of your fighters in it and you don't have to worry about any of the other stuff except for getting your fighters ready and being ready to go to war. I mean, I would think that'd be a luxury. Same with Christos. I mean, half the time when these guys are putting on shows, they're, they're the ones putting it on and it takes all the effort that they have dang near in the world just to keep it all together and, and you know, it sucks. And they both... Uh, do a great job of it, but they both, of course, it wears them down. So I, I thought it was providing a nice opportunity. If I've caused problems that are irreparable, if I've done something wrong by wanting the best quality product that I could possibly get in a way that's so entertaining that it, 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 it just a mere mention of it on Facebook means a 200 posts. I mean, we've got something here, okay? And a little cooperation, you can still beef. You can still say anything you want. You guys can still go after it. Sell the fight. I mean, it's not even just selling. It's, it's the passion that both camps have for the sport of MMA and the great coaches involved, pro fighters on down to the first guy walking in the door in both camps. I'm, I'm well experienced with both of them and quite frankly I'm disappointed it didn't work out the way that I wanted it. I know that's not how the world works and I appreciate that and that's fine. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not saying that anybody should fight if they don't want to. I understand. But I know how the rest of the MMA community feels and I know what's going to start happening so now that makes sense that they would delete anybody affiliated with Christos which is that's their prerogative that's what they can do and I respect Larry and I always have I get along and respect Christos I've worked with him he's, he's made me a, a marquee part of his show and I'm thankful for all of that so I guess I apologize but not really because I want to see this go down and I think that with a little bit of work and cooperation and you know set things aside and realize hey people are going to say what they want people are going to try to get you to react people are going to call you out that's what happens GSP and Koscheck went at it and they, they provided a great fight and that's that's just an example on the pro level it happens so much 
So I just wanted to address that and just say hi to everybody. I'm going to try to do this more frequently. I've got a couple sponsors. I want to give a shout out to Elevation Training Mask, Casey Danford and Sean Shirk, all the other fighters that are associated with Training Mask. And you can check them out at trainingmask.com. Get a hold of Phil Davey if you'd like to buy these in the state of Michigan. He's your uh, distributor or Casey Danford or trainingmask.com to order these. Trust me, pro fighters use it and it works. Um, I've got a couple other uh, sponsorships in the works that are going to be coming up, but there's what I mentioned right now. I um, want to give shout-outs to, to anybody that, that pays attention to Michigan MMA. I want to give a big shout-out to Blue Blood MMA, my first out-of-state show, Davenport, Iowa, April 28th. I want to give a shout-out to Dan the Beast Severn and Ken Shamrock. I want to give a shout-out to James Lee, and that's... Uh, Bloodstain Lane as well. I want to give a big shout out to Bloodstain Lane. Without you, I wouldn't be thinking about doing cool stuff like this. And you're the man when it comes to this video blog type shit. When I'm at home using a webcam and a cheap ass microphone, you're at home talking about MMA and you're always in the zone. So I'm Dave the Butcher and I'm out. <laughs>